Hey, welcome back. So there's a lot of controversy around at the moment on AI code generation tools learning from public open source repositories like GitHub. And the reason it's controversial is that the open source licenses that we have today don't really account for AI learning. They're very, very permissive licenses. So if we look at something like the MIT license, hugely permissive license, but for the individual creator, when they had their code and they originally decided they wanted that to be available for everyone to use and learn from, they weren't really thinking about AI at that point. None of us were because AI code generation tools weren't at the level that they are today. Now the scenario that we're gonna be in is that we still are gonna want the openness and lack of restriction that you get from something like an MIT license, but you do wanna be able to have those restrictive covenants so that if you want to prevent an AI from learning from your code, then you have the flexibility to have a license that is able to do that. And for that, I propose a license called the AI Restrictive MIT License. Now, I'm not gonna say that this is gonna be a standard or anything, this is just really a proposal that I have, but if we look at the existing MIT license that we have today, it's probably gonna be obvious where we would want those AI restrictions to be placed. So let's take a look at the MIT license. You can see opensource.org license MIT is where it's gonna be. And then again, as you see, everybody knows the MIT license permission is granted free of charge to any person obtaining a copy of this software and associated documentation files to deal in the software without restriction, including without limitations, the right to use, copy, modify, merge, publish, distribute, sublicense, and or sell copies of the software and to permit persons to whom the software is furnished to do so subject to the following conditions. So it's a super, super permissive license. It basically says, go do whatever you want, right? You probably got a little bit of argument around person versus AI, but that's probably by the by at this stage, because what we want to do is being explicit about our consent. The conditions that it maintains is the above copyright notice and this permission notice shall be included in all copies or substantial portions of the software. So there is restrictions on this license already, which is you got to maintain the permission and copyright notice. But but beyond that, there's no other restrictions. It's a really open license. So really all we need to do is extend the conditions of the license to cover those scenarios that we don't want to happen, which is we don't want an AI unit to learn from our code and include it in any AI generative works. Now the last thing, if we look at this, this software is provided as is without any warranty, et cetera, et cetera. That's a pretty good clause as well. You wouldn't really want that to change because you don't want to be sued or any of that sort of thing or have any damages against you that you want to be have no liability. So again, that's going to be good. So you can probably get the idea what this license is going to look like. So how am I going to create this? Well, actually, I'm going to use GPT-4. Okay, so on my screen here, I've opened up ChatGPT and I'm just going to change the model to GPT-4. And what we will do is we're just gonna ask it very, very nicely to create us a new open source license for code using MIT, BSD or others, whatever fits the best as a base license. So I'm, I'm not saying use MIT as its base license, but um, uh, you know, it can pick whichever one it thinks is good. I'd like the license to be free for whoever to take the code and do what they want, but I wanna restrict AI models from learning the code, i.e. they can't crawl or ingest. I also want the license to apply to derivative works. Okay, so that's my sort of starting statement. And let's see what it generates. All right, let's take a quick look at this first. So the first thing is it's called it the AI Restricted Open Source License Now or Arasol. So maybe we'll stick with that in the future, but I, I kind of like it being specific against the MIT license so that you know it's really the MIT license, but it's just been modified to have those AI restrictions. So I'll probably update the name a little bit later. Um, permission is hereby granted free of charge to any person, blah, blah, blah. So this is exactly the same text as the MIT licenses we have here. So I'm, I'm okay for that to be uh, there. So the next thing I wanna look at is what the restrictions are. So it's put, a res it's put in the original restriction, the above copyright notice and permission notice should be included in all copies or substantial portions of the software. So um, maybe we want that to be changed slightly in the future, we'll come back to that. Artificial intelligence models and systems, including but not limited machine learning models, natural language process models, and their derivatives are prohibited from crawling, ingesting, learning from being traded on software or its derivatives. That kind of seems okay. And then the software is provided as is without any blah, 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 blah. So I think that one is slightly different from the text of MIT. So I'm just gonna paste in this and say, 
I want the exact text that is in the MIT license. Okay, so it's now generated that. It's looking a bit better. So I've got my top section, which is the same as the MIT license. The bottom section here is exactly the same as the MIT license now. So really what I can do is focus on the restrictions. So I'm not really happy with the restrictions that they've put in place here in this modified model because it's not really reflecting my intentions. The intention that I have for this license is that you can go off and create your own new works. You could put a commercial license. You can do whatever you want with it in the same way as you could with an MIT license. But if you've included some of the code from my code base where this MIT license was in place, then I want you to ensure that that restrictive covenant remains in place so that you're not gonna teach AI on that particular piece of code. So that's really the change that I needed to make. And of course, that's gonna reflect any other derivative works. So let's make that modification. So what I'm gonna write here is I don't wanna restrict derivative works to using this license. I'm happy for them to put their own license on it, create commercial works, etc. However, any code that comes from the original work, the AI restriction needs to be in place for the new derivative work or where code is reused in the new code. Let's see how it does. All right, so GPT-4 has came back and says, I've modified the uh, license to clarify that derivative works can have their own licenses, but the AI restriction must be maintained for any code that originates from the original work. And then of course it's saying, please consult a legal expert. All righty, so it's done a pretty good job. It says derivative works may be distributed under different licenses, provide that any code originating from the original software retains the AI restriction as specified in this license. So I want that to be a bit more specific. Modify condition two to explicitly call out condition three in the license. And then finally, I want to rename the license as well. Rename the license to AI restricted MIT license. Alrighty, so it's done the update, it's modified condition two, we'll have a look at that in a second. And it's renamed the license to AI restricted MIT license, AIRMIT or AIRMIT. Please consult with legal expert before using this for your projects. I mean, you know, I, <laughs> in reflect, I quite like the aerosol sort of uh, name that I had earlier, but you know, it, it doesn't really matter. I, I really wanted to point out that it's just an AI restricted version of the MIT license. Now let's take a look at the conditions. The above copyright notice should be included in all copies or substantial portions of the software. That's fine. Derivative works may be distributed under different licenses, provided that any code originating from the original software retains the AI restriction as specified in condition three of this license. Perfect. Artificial intelligence models and systems, including but not limited machine learning models, natural language processing models and their derivatives are prohibited from crawling and ingesting learning from or being trained on a software or any code originating from the software and derivative works. I think the last thing I wanna do is just get number three to call out explicitly GPT type models. So I'm just gonna say modify clause three to explicitly call out transformers and generative AI. Alrighty, so it's now generated that. It says artificial intelligence models and systems including but not limited to transformers, generative AI, generative pre-trained transformers, machine learning models, natural language processing models, and their derivatives are prohibited from crawling, ingesting, learning from, or being trained on the software or any code originating from the software in derivative work. So, so I think that's a pretty good license. So there we go. What we have done is we've taken the MIT license We've updated it to have AI restrictions. So if you're somebody who doesn't want to have AI crawl in your code, then maybe this is a way forward. Now, I'm not saying that this will be the standard going forward. I'm quite sure that people much smarter than me will come up with some AI restricted licenses that can be used, uh, which has been through legal and all that sort of thing. Anyway, regardless whether this license is used going forward or not, I think this is something that we have to look at in the industry is how we extend our existing open source licenses so that we can be explicit. Well, I hope this opens up a conversation with folks. Maybe this license is useful, maybe it's not. Uh, but I'll catch you on the next one. And again, the last thing I'm going to say is I am not a lawyer. Please don't sue me, do whatever. You know, if you use this license text, you know, uh, you know, seek your own legal counsel, whatever. All right. I uh, hope this video has been useful. Catch you on the next one.